Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews, last beer of the night. And it's going to be a comparison video. Now we're going to do two similar style beers and we're going to see which one comes out on top. Um, so if you watched the last review, you'll know I did the Twisted Wheel Banoffee Pie Beer. Here it is. And I'm going to compare it against the Vocations Imperial Banana. Okay, so let's go run through the tail of the tape with these beers. This one is 12% ABV. This one is 11.4, I think it is. Yep, this one's 11.4. So 12% on the front there. 11.4 is on the side there. Best before on this one is 7th of September 22. It says on the bottom, if you can read that. This one is the 6th of the 9th, 22. So this one's got a day extra on the sell-by date than this one. But this one, get it right way around, has got 0.6% extra in the ABV department. I've reviewed both these beers singularly. I've also reviewed this one next to the original um, banana, chocolate and banana by vocation. Any hoodles, let's get stuck in. So, left hand beer is going to be Tristan Wheel in this glass. Right hand beer is going to be vocation in the vocation glass. Let's pop a top, see what we've got. Start off with the Tristan Wheel. Okay, so beer in a glass, jet black beer. Ooh. Just give a little bit came over the top. Jet black beer, and we've got a finger and a half of tanned head. Let's pop the imperial banana. Both these beers are five quid. Well, this one's five quid out of Tesco's, and this one is five quid out of Barton's Aston Makerfield, or it's six pound ninety five of the Twisted Wheel website. I will put a link to both websites in the description box. This is also, again, available on the Vocation website for the same price, for five quid. Okay, so bearded glass for the Imperial Banana, Jet Black, and this one, basically the head has evaporated. So, let's compare them. Straight away, you can see the head retention on the, on the twisted wheel but off your pie let's just hug around a little bit longer than what that one has right let's get the nose on the imperial banana cheers milk chocolate fresh ripe banana <clears throat> hint of malt but it has got a big chocolatey it smells sweet it smells, it smells thick and it smells rich. It smells good. Try this one. Again, roasted malt, milk chocolate. Again, really ripe banana. Both smell really good, to be fair. The imperial banana does smell more sweet. I've got to give it, give it that. Right, let's go for the body and carb on the Imperial Banana. Cheers. <sighs> Medium to thick body, carbonation soft and light. But it's really sweet. Let's go for the twisted wheel. Cheers. Medium bodied. Light carbonation, not as sweet as the Imperial Banana. So for me, the Twisted Wheel has got the better body, has got the better carbonation. Right, let's go for the big old taste. Let's top these up. Right, 
let's start with the Imperial Banana. Thank you. Cheers. That's super sweet. And again, as I said, I think I said this in the original in the original review. This might be too, too sweet for some people. In fact, it might be sweet, too sweet for a lot of people. Up front, you get this really ripe, really ripe banana. Then it goes into a bit of milk chocolate. There's a light malt base to it. And towards the end, it goes a little bit sort of like a, like a Nesquik, super sweet Nesquik powdery banana milkshake on the back end. And it's not too shabby. Let's go for this one. So the twisted wheel would offer pie again it's got a, it's got a nice malt base to it it's got when the malts come through stronger than the imperial banana again it has that ripe that ripe banana uh, flavor to it you get a little bit of milk chocolate you get a little bit of dark chocolate in this one and it goes back into a malty finish but it's not as sweet as the imperial so if that is not as sweet as what that one is. <sighs> that multi, that, that just that little malt base is, is just that little bit different. And it's, as I say, it's not as sweet as this is. <sighs> this one, though, has been battle aged. Let's see what it says. It says with blah, 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 these beers. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't say what type of bottles you've been aged in. Dark chocolate, bottle aged in oak. This has been battle aged in oak bottles. This doesn't say anything about being battle aged. But if I had to choose one or the other, is that one or that one? I picked this one. I think this is a better beer. It's not as sweet. But I think you get a slightly more real, believable banana. There's a little hint of toffee with this one as well. I, 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 did, I meant to mention that and I didn't. I, um, this has got all kinds in it. I, um, there's adjuncts of Demerara sugar, there's lactose, there's banana and there's chocolate. This one... Dark chocolate, um, banana. Yeah. But the banana in this one starts off nice and ripe, but towards the end it goes into that. I said that powdered Nesquik. It's good. This is very, very good. But this one's a little bit easier to drink. There you go. So I'm going to go with this as being the better banana beer, banana imperial stout out of these two. So let's wrap this review up. If you've had either of these beers, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link to the Twisted Wheel website and vocation website also below. Thumbs up for the video. Thumbs down if you don't. Subscribe down there. Hit the notification bell. Give you an idea when I've done a new review. I'll see you in the next one. Hope you found this informative. Website, 6 95 Barton's 5 quid. Website, 5 quid. Tesco's 5 quid. <coughs> this is brilliant. This is great. This is better. See you in the next one. Stay there, stay safe. Hey, the